there was a point a couple years ago, maybe last year, where I'm pretty sure I was getting it every single week. It was bad. Or good, depending on the way you view the world. We just have to take a breather for today's video because the day has come. My prayers have been answered. We are talking about a elf Chipotle makeup collaboration. Okay. Real life Chipotle has collaborated with Elf Cosmetics. You know, I, uh, I'm a little bitter that I wasn't involved in this collaboration. I will move on eventually, maybe. So this is a full face video, some first impressions, some other stuff I've been trying. Obviously I had to test out the Chipotle collection for you guys and for myself because I could not wait to put it on my face. Oh my God. I thought I didn't turn my mic on for a second. That entire time I just filmed and almost had a mini heart attack. We're good. But if you're excited for this video and you enjoy while you're watching, you can give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, you can subscribe. I upload two times a week and you can click the bell to be notified when I upload. YouTube will just send you a little push notification whenever I upload a video. Okay, let's get into it. I'm too excited to talk about some guacamole and makeup. Here we go. This feels weird. It's been a hot minute since I sat down under these bright friggin' lights to film. I almost wish I unboxed this on camera because I, uh, I already opened this and I almost peed my pants. Oh my god. The packaging gets me every time. Figured it was only right. It was my duty as a YouTuber to mentally prepare for this review uh, by ordering some AAA before this video, so that's what I did. I feel like we need a close-up of this. I'm probably never gonna recycle this box. So we have a eyeshadow palette for 16 bucks, lip gloss, sponge, and oh, I guess there's a makeup bag under there. I didn't even realize that. Oh my God. We just take a moment for this makeup bag. I'm eating hair. Wow, 10 out of 10. There's foil on the inside. Chipotle, elf. I can just stop here. Because of the height though, I feel like this would be perfect for makeup brushes, yeah. They even went so far to put guacamole on the inside of this packaging. Extra guac face sponge duo. So I'm going to dampen this sponge and then we'll get started on foundation. I think it would have been super cute if they put a little brown like pit on the inside because it kind of looks like a pear, but it's okay. See what they're going for. So I actually really like flat sponges, like sponges with the flat side. So I'm excited to try this with foundation and I'm actually using a new launch foundation, but I've been testing it. So this is a new drugstore launch. I've worn this probably about, I don't know, 10 or so times so far. It's the Catrice True Skin Hydrating Foundation. I wear the shade 004 Neutral Porcelain. I am really enjoying this foundation. I would say it's about high medium coverage, has a really pretty finish. It doesn't seem to crease on me throughout the day. So far, really enjoying this. If you saw my my last video, update video, I talked about my new schedule twice a week and foundation Fridays and how that's gonna be happening. And I'm kind of testing foundations off camera and then I'm gonna be giving kind of more comprehensive reviews in a combined foundation Friday, or that's what I'm thinking I'm gonna be doing. So I am gonna be including this one when I do that video. I haven't tested this with a sponge, so I've only tried it with a brush. So this will be the first time I'm trying this foundation with a sponge too. So we'll see if it has Oh, it's already looking like it has much lighter coverage with a sponge. Because normally that amount of foundation would give a lot more coverage. This sponge is super bouncy, like very soft, super flexible feeling. Doesn't feel hard at all. So I like the feeling of this sponge. And I like that there's a totally flat side. If you're someone who likes, you know, a round sponge, you could just flip it. I'm definitely getting less coverage. I kind of wanted to show you how much coverage this foundation normally has. So let's just go in with a brush on the other side so you can see, we've just got that on there. Have some extra redness from the hot pack this morning. So we'll see how that covers it. This foundation does have a very SPF smell to it. So I had a lot more redness on this side to begin with. And with a brush, you can see the difference in coverage. I do feel like I got definitely more coverage, but I'm gonna try the sponge on my forehead and then maybe I'll try and build up a little bit. Yeah, let's just actually do that right now to even it out since I do have lighter coverage right now. I'm just going in with the sponge with a little bit more and see if we can even it out to the other side. I really wanted to wear a silver shirt to really embody the burrito 
today, you know, for this look. But apparently I don't have a silver shirt anymore. Back in my college days, I had so many metallic things. <laughs> I think I had a metallic shirt in every color. But uh, this was as close as we were going to get to the to the burrito foil. That's the shirt selection today. I really like the feeling of this sponge. Very soft, very bouncy. By the way, I just tinted my eyebrows last night, so they're extra dark right now. So they do fade in a day or two, so they're just looking a little dark. If you want to know how I do that, I have a whole video on it. It's just using a, a men's beard product. <laughs> okay, right now I'm definitely preferring how this foundation looks with a brush. I just get better coverage and I feel like I have to use less product with a brush. I'm just using the tiniest amount just to, I feel like I didn't even fully cover my forehead here. I love the way this foundation sits on my forehead. It sits really nicely between my eyebrows, has a really pretty satin kind of finish. By the way, before I forget sitting on my desk right now, the Love You Loads candle, if you missed last video, is available for pre-order right now. This is a candle for charity. 40% of each candle sold goes directly to Project Beauty Share. Editing me popping in here. As of right now, when I'm editing this, you guys have raised over $32,000 for Project Beauty Share. Freaking insane. Thank you guys so much for all of your support with this candle. You guys are incredible. It is based off of my favorite laundry scent. I made this candle, it's with Anchor Northwest. All the info is in the last video if you wanna know all about it and hear more, but it is limited edition and it's available for pre-order right now. Okay, so this is a new concealer by Makeup Revolutions, their Eye Bright Illuminating Concealer in the shade Porcelain. I've tried this a couple times and I wasn't super impressed. I wanna try it again though with a, like a full base of makeup on because I kinda just used it without powder and just kinda you know, did it on more of like a light makeup kind of day. So we'll see if I like it anymore today. The last couple times I wore it, it didn't last great. It kind of just started coming off my under eyes and still see darkness coming through right there. I'm gonna add just a little bit. I'm just not, not wowed by this guy. So to set my under eyes, I'm gonna go in with my Laura Mercier number one pressed Secret Blurring Powder, and I'm gonna take that with my Shop Miss A sponge, swirl it in there, and I'm just gonna press this on underneath my eyes. On a day-to-day -day basis, I haven't been setting my under eyes a ton lately. I've mostly just been using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is like one of the few concealers I found that I don't need to set it, and it holds up throughout the day. Oh crap, I just remembered we're using, or I wanted to use a couple cream products, so hopefully I didn't bring that powder down too far. Usually if I'm using cream products, I won't use any powder under my eyes at all, which is why lately I've been using a ton of cream products, but again, lately I haven't been setting my under eyes. Okay, so Huda Beauty came out with their new Bomb Brows Micro Shade Brow Pencil. So I think I'm gonna go with the shade, I don't know, my, my brows are pretty dark right now, so I might need to use the soft black shade, but I also have brown black number seven. I'm just gonna take both out. Maybe I'll start with the lighter one. Ooh, I like the packaging. Have I tried this? Maybe the packaging just looks familiar. Wow, this is a super fine point. Nothing is friggin' microscopic. Obviously my brows are very filled in right now, very uh, pigmented. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of shape, bring them down a bit. I really like how tiny this is. This is probably the smallest brow pencil I have seen. It is super, super small. Okay, my brows are looking intense today, but I'm actually really excited to try this once they faded a bit because that was very small and I feel like I could actually get a couple like brush strokes right at the top, not that you can really tell. So for blush and highlight, I really wanted to use these two products because I've been totally in love with these. I did a TikTok on these two. I'm doing like short form kind of reviews over on there. These ones got a 9.5 out of 10. This is the shade Happy, it's their cream blush and a liquid luminizer in Enlighten. Ooh, you guys, the formula of the blush especially, it lasts forever, it lasts all day, doesn't fade, blends super easily. Definitely one of my favorite cream blush formulas I've tried. And the liquid luminizer is also beautiful. I love the shade, it doesn't look super glittery. Both of these I'm just really digging, so I wanted to use them today, but again, I brought that powder down. I'm hoping that it's not gonna be an issue because typically on my skin, if I put cream on top of powder, it's just a disaster, but I didn't bring it down here. So I think hopefully the blush should be okay. I might try applying it with the sponge today just to test the sponge some more, but I've been friggin' loving this little brush from e.l.f. It's their putty primer applicator. 
but I just use it for whatever. I use it for a blush, bronzer, mostly cream blush and bronzer. It's just a mini little brush and it's like the perfect size for those two things. I really love this for cream bronzer. Let's try it with a sponge today. I haven't tried it with a dampened sponge before. You just need a little bit. I definitely wanna order more shades of this. Again, I'm hoping that the powder situation isn't gonna be an issue. I'm just gonna like squeeze this down. So they have two different formulas in these. They make dewy ones and matte versions. This one is the dewy one, but I definitely wanna try their matte ones now. And the thing I love about this, especially if you blend it out with not a sponge, like let me show you with the brush on the other side, is it adds coverage right when cream products take away the coverage of my foundation underneath and this one just like sits on top and is so freaking beautiful especially for spring and summer i feel like this is such a nice color i'm gonna use the liquid on my face uh, obviously <laughs> but not on my cheekbones because i just have a feeling that today it is gonna be a little wild since i put a powder there so i'm just gonna put this down my nose but i'm gonna use a powder highlight for my cheekbones. For bronzer, I'm gonna use my e.l.f. bronzer palette and I'm just gonna use the corner shade right here and I'm gonna mix in a little bit of that one. I've been liking this ColourPop brush, it's F29. I'm gonna bring the bronzer up to my forehead because I'm trying to look like a toasted burrito today, okay? For highlight, I'm gonna go with my trusty Natural Nude Physicians Formula and this is the ColourPop F32 brush. I'm just gonna take little dab in the light shades. Oh yeah, I am not loving that concealer. I feel like I have lots of darkness coming through. I'm gonna prime my eyes with MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Not Soft Ochre, yes, Soft Ochre. Wow, has it really been so long that I just second guessed myself on the name of that? Okay, so this is the e.l.f. and Chipotle eyeshadow palette. I am a little bit bummed they didn't print the names directly on here because as soon as you take off, you know, the plastic covering, the names are gone. And part of the fun of this palette are the names. Here are some of the names so you can see them, but they're all burrito, Mexican food themed, lettuce, guac, corn salsa, black beans, fajitas, sofritas, white rice. Don't know why brown rice is gold, but okay. There she goes. Also, this is just the PR box, and I feel like this design is super cute. I feel like that would have been so cute if they put that design on the outside of this palette. So you see that on the outside, and then you open it up, and it's like, you know, following the outside design on the inside. But anyways, a girl can dream. You know, Chipotle, I will be your consultant next time you collaborate with a makeup brand, okay? I'm really drawn to the greens and the orange and the golds right now, so we gotta use some of those. So I'm just gonna go straight in with the green. Let's get wild. I'm gonna put that into my crease. The fact that this was e.l.f. with Chipotle too just made my heart so happy. I mean, e.l.f. is one of my favorite makeup brands. Chipotle, the two together. Could there be anything better? I feel like now would be an optimal time for me to tell you my Chipotle order, since everyone's asking. <laughs> Literally no one asked. I will pop it in on the screen right here. If you've never had Chipotle, actually comment down below, I'm curious. Here's the thing, you don't get a burrito at Chipotle, okay? You either get the soft tacos or you get the, the bowl and then you get chips and guac with queso and you dip everything into the taco bowl. There was a point a couple years ago maybe last year, where I'm pretty sure I was getting it every single week. It was bad. Or good, depending on the way you view the world. Chipotle, if you happen to be watching this, I'm literally your biggest fan. I've tweeted you about 500 times, and uh, I eat you at, oh, that sounded weird. But yes, I eat you uh, literally almost on a weekly basis. Okay, obviously that's a very nice green. I am craving guacamole again, even though I literally just had it about two hours ago. That was lettuce. Now I'm gonna take guac, this shade. I'm just looking at the plastic on my finger. Oh, that was super soft. As far as bright eyeshadow colors, you know, like getting wild kind of eyeshadow, I am pretty sure green is my favorite. Like there's something about green eyeshadow or like deep, like deep army green. So pretty. Or maybe yellow, I love yellow too like a mustard yellow eye look. Now I'm gonna take corn salsa, which is this gold. I'm gonna take it on a brush. I might need to use my finger for this, but let's try a brush. I'm gonna put that on my inner corner. Whoa, that one has some glitter. Ooh, wow, that is pretty. Look at that pop. 
Ooh, that was intense. That was super pretty. Oh man, ooh, that is a pretty yellowish gold. I just wanna go full green on the bottom, so I'm gonna go back in with the matte green shade. I think I'm actually gonna pop that yellow again, the metallic corn salsa, right on the middle. Mm, I'm just gonna kinda of bring that across. I just wanna add a little bit of something down there. Okay, before I go in for liner and lashes and everything, I'm gonna use some setting spray. I've tested this a couple times. It's the Porefessional Super Setter by Benefit. I feel like it might break me out. I'm gonna try it one more time and see, but it has a super fine mist on it. The way this sprays out in the mist feels super similar to the Hourglass Vanish or the Collab setting spray, the blue bottle that I love. It has that really nice, super even, super fine kind of feel. As far as the finish, it does look like it gave a glow for sure. I am gonna have another speed reviews coming soon, so I will include this one in my next speed reviews for sure, update you. But I'm just gonna do a thin line, no winged liner, hopefully, <laughs> just keep it close to the lash line. Okay, so I just put on liner, lashes, and lower lash mascara. I'll have the lashes I have on down below. But this is the lip product in the collection, the Hot Salsa. It looks kind of like a orange, but also like a little bit fuchsia. So I think I wanna do this as a base underneath. This is a Korean product. It's the McQueen New York Air Cotton Tint in Rose. So this kind of has like that same kind of tone to it. I actually filmed a Korean, another video testing like Korean makeup that's gonna be going up, I'm pretty sure next video, but I filmed that before break. And in that video, I was talking about this product. I was actually trying it for the first time, the Purito BB cream, but again, I filmed that like, what, a couple months ago now, but that was me testing it for the first time. Then I talked about it in the foundation, best foundations of 2020 video. Anyways, moral of the story, when you're seeing that video, the timing is off, but now I've, obviously tested it and know that this is the same as the old version, if that make any sense. Okay, let's go in with this lip product. I am pretty sure I've tried this. I might have even tried this in that video. I don't even remember now. Wow, has a super fragrant strawberry smell. But with these kind of products, I usually like kind of dabbing it and then blending it out with my finger instead of doing like a super pigmented kind of look because they just have this really pretty light, kind of airy, moussey look to them. Obviously it's not like perfectly, you know, filled in, perfectly lined. It's kind of like the Just Ate a Popsicle kind of look, which I like with a color like this. Okay, so let's try the Hot Salsa from the collection. So it does say it's a lip plumping gloss. I love Elf's lip plumping glosses. Two of their shades, the light pink shades are my favorite. Have them right here, Pink Cosmo and Bellini. So it has the Chipotle logo. Whoa, it smells like cinnamon, okay. I am liking that and I feel like those two layered are really pretty. The texture feels the same as the other e.l.f. lip plumbing glosses. I like them because they're not super sticky. Definitely feeling the cinnamon. Yeah, you can feel this one. This feels more kind of tingling than their other lip plumping glosses. You can definitely feel something happening right now. Woo, okay, the more I'm sitting here, <laughs> it's been a few minutes now, the uh, the cinnamon's getting a little intense. All right, so this is the final makeup look. So just a quickle, a quick, <laughs> a quickle, a couple quick thoughts to wrap it up. I do like the sponge. I want to try it with other foundations because for me the Catrice foundation is definitely a brush foundation. But as far as the sponge, it's very soft, very bouncy. I think it's a good sponge. I'm just thinking of if I purchased this and was like super stoked about this collaboration, which I am. I think I would be a little bit bummed about the packaging. Not the not the quality of the eyeshadows, like the ones I tried, I only tried a few shades. I can't speak to every single one yet, but typically at this point, else eyeshadows you can count on. I don't know, I'm a little bummed because I'm, I'm mostly excited about the PR box, which is not great because obviously that's not something that everyone can get their hands on. It's a cardboard box. I feel like they should have put that super cute design and incorporated it into here. And also there were just some misses with like, I mean, it's just an empty palette on the inside. I don't know why they didn't print the names of it. Like I said, maybe made it round to look more like a burrito, actually printed like a burrito onto here. This was such a cool collaboration that I just feel like the packaging could have been taken up a notch on the actual products. However, the makeup bag, this is honestly the standout of the show. This is what I'm talking about. Like this is some cute product design here. I mean, I love this. I love the concept. I love how there's foil on the inside. I think this is super cute to look like a Chipotle chips bag, but I don't know, you know, they could have made this look more like an avocado instead of a pear. 
I'm just being picky here, but when people buy collaborations like this, it's it's not really as much about the actual you know makeup as it is about the two brands coming together and the packaging and the whole branding of it all. So with that in mind, that's where the critiques are coming from. Still very excited about it. I think if you get your hands on anything, pick up the makeup bag if you can. I mean, you don't even have to use this for makeup. You could store whatever you want in here. You could store like school supplies, but that is everything for today's video. Again, I'll have a link to the charity candle linked down below in the description box if you wanna pre-order it. And everything I put on my face today and test it out will be linked down below in the description box. Comment down below your city and the best burrito place in your city. I'm gonna be screenshotting them and if I'm ever in your city I will be checking it out so let me know down below but I love you guys thanks for watching see you in my next video bye